Hare Krishna, dear devotees. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to purify myself. Every character of Ramayana is like a valuable jewel and when we study such great characters, it purifies our heart. One of the characters that inspires me from Ramayana is glorious life of Bharata. He is a great devotee of Lord Ram. He always has a humble mood of serving Lord Ram. Even among the difficult situations when he was misunderstood, wrongly criticized, his faith on Lord Ram was unflinching. His love and devotion towards Lord did not deviate. He was not affected by infamy and criticism. After meeting with Lord Ram in Chitrakut, Bharat returns to Ayodhya with heavy heart. He placed Lord Ram Spaduka on the throne and ruled the kingdom for 14 years, always feeling himself subordinate to Lord Ram. Though Bharata was surrounded by opulence, he lived in a renounced way. He patiently waited and served the Lord Spaduka. Time proved his intention and integrity towards Lord Ram. It inspires me as I can say for myself when challenging situations come in life, we always think it as a result of circumstances, but seldom we take responsibility for the things that happen. We get frustrated with little things in life and instead of being patient, we start blaming others. In that process, we make offenses which in turn destroys the creeper of our bhakti. Bharata, being great devotee of Lord, never forgot the dharma. He always did his actions, keeping the Lord Ram in center. Let us learn from Bharata to keep Lord as a center of our actions and serve him with unconditional love and devotion. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna devotees. Today I will be sharing with you one of my favorite Ramayana characters and some of his qualities. My favorite Ramayana character is Lakshman. He is the younger brother of Lord Ram. I will be sharing with you some of his qualities. One of the qualities of Lakshman was that he was very loyal to all of his brothers. When Kekai had asked for two boons, the first one was that Bharat become king of Ayodhya and the second one was that Ram be banished from Ayodhya for 14 years. She did not mention Lakshman whatsoever. While Ram was preparing for his journey, even Lakshman accompanied him. He also wore the same bark clothes as Ram. This shows that we should always be kind and supportive to our siblings. Even though Lakshman was super strong, he never used to show off or boast to other people. He only used to display his strength when it was necessary to human beings and demons. He would never display his strength in front of elders unless if it was necessary. This shows that even if we have a particular skill or strength, we should never show off and we should always take permission from our elders. Lastly, Lakshman showed that no matter how big or how small our service to the Lord is, we should do it to our best ability. During exile, Lakshman did not sleep for 14 years so that he could serve and guard Sita and Ram. I hope you learned something from this. Who is your favorite Ramayana character? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna everyone. Uh, the most favorite character from Ramayana for me is Hanumanji. Hanumanji inspired me in many ways like boldness, courage, decision making, etc. But one particular incident which inspired me a lot, not only inspire, inspiring, from that inspiration, um, I still follow that same thing, what our Anumanji did uh, on this particular incident in my real life till this date. Uh, the incident is when Lakshman was injured in the war um, and only the Sanjeevini herb could save his life, so Rama was uh, instructed Hanumanji to go and bring the Sanjeevini plant, um, which is in uh, Dronagiri Hills. So Hanuman went there, but he could not identify which plant is Sanjeevini plant. So he was confused for a second and then he decided, okay, why not I take this entire hill so that the doctor can pick up the right plant and save um, Lakshman's life because I don't have a you know 
time to go and come back for the right plant again if it is if whatever i am taking is a wrong one so he made the right decision and he picked up everything the entire hill and uh, um, and went there as he expected the doctor picked up the sanjeevini plant and uh, he cured lakshman's life so here you know whatever the hanuman ji did the decision of taking the entire hill is the right decision i would say exactly like this one incident happened in my real life also 10 years back i i went to india with my family um i took i uh, when i reached the airport and the airline counter i gave all the passports and uh, oci booklet and everything oci overseas citizenship of india but the person who is in the counter he said for your son and daughter i do not see oci stamping on the passport uh so i cannot allow them to board i was uh, so shocked by hearing that and i told him that you know we have a oci booklet but he said you know no 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 the stamp the oci should be stamped on the passport american passport um i told him that you know all the other passports are expired one whatever the one we have is the current one but he said maybe the stamping might be there in the expired passport you need to bring that otherwise you know i cannot allow you to board we were having only one and a half hour at that time before the boarding time um so i was so rushed and tensed and i came out of the airport i left my family there um and i took a taxi and came home um normally i have one suitcase in which you know i have all the expired passports i came and i was searching for the expired passport with the tensed mode you know i don't know which one is the right passport and uh, i decided that whatever the hanuman ji did i remember that particular incident i just took all the expired passports like uh, you know 17 or 18 passports i was having at that time i took everything and i went to the airport i and i put all the expired passport on his counter and he picked up the right one and we we boarded on the plane just to 20 minutes before till uh, you know that from that point on, onwards you know every time when i go to india i take every uh, passports expired non expired everything so that you know the people you know will take whatever the one they want this incident i truly learned from um, you know hanuman ji's uh, you know incident so like you know so hanuman ji is my favorite character happy rama navami thank you everyone bye hare krishna on this auspicious day about uh, rama navami i would like to glorify on my beloved lord lord rama in lord rama we can find a ideal son a ideal uh, husband a ideal brother and ideal friend and there are lot of good qualities we we can we find in lord rama the one part which i like in ramayana is the story of mother shabari mother shabari was a nishada tribal woman and a disciple of uh, malanga muni uh, in the based on the instruction of uh, her spiritual master madanga muni uh, she uh, decided to wait upon lord rama every day she used to clean the hermitage she used to collect uh, fresh berries and most often she used to taste the berry and see if the berry is sweet enough to offer to her beloved lord rama and she used to wait uh, upon lord uh, upon lord rama she didn't didn't know when will lord rama uh, is going to arrive in her hermitage but she she keep on waiting on the lord praying uh, praying for uh, towards him so and one fine day when lord appears in front of her she treats him with a lot of love respect and pure devotion she she gives the the bite berries to lord rama even though uh, lord lakshmana was hesitant to eat the berries lord rama relished it with a great taste she he didn't uh, look uh, whether the devotee belongs to a different caste creed etc he only looked on the pure love and devotion of my mother shabari and uh, when uh, he told even lakshmana this is the best uh, uh, prasadam offered her to me with love and devotion so it uh, shows that and how lord reciprocates to the uh, love and devotion of uh, of his devotees so on this blessed occasion i would like uh, to say like whatever service we get whether big or small like we have to uh, do it with our whole heart 
uh, with sincere love and devotion to, to Lord uh, Rama. Uh, happy now, Rama Navami. Hi, Krishna devotees. Today I will be telling you about my favorite character from Ramayana. My favorite character is Sita because people from all ages and types can learn something from her. One thing that we can learn is to make our decisions wholeheartedly and not worry about the outcome and not complain about the outcome either. Sita had the courage to take responsibility for all her decisions and all the outcomes of the decisions. One decision that she made what, um, was to accompany Lord Ram to exile, knowing that it would be difficult for her to stay for 14 years after living in the palace for so many years. Another decision that she made was to give fruits to Ravana disguised as a saint and cross the Lakshman Rekha knowing that she had just put her life in danger. Another decision that she made was to not come with Hanuman back to the exile place with Ram. Instead, she stayed at Lanka and waited for her husband to come and punish Ravana and take her back to himself. Another example is when Ra Lord Ram came to a Sita and asked for her to come back to Ayodhya. She refused him as they had insulted her before when they said that she was impure. Sita also took her decisions and never complained or regretted them. She also never complained to anyone about the circumstances that she was put through. Instead, she had confidence in herself, in God, and her loved ones. After listening to the story, we can learn that self-respect is a must and cannot come through any relationship. We must build it for ourselves. After knowing that she was not impure and she was God, she still did Agni Pariksha to prove her purity. Still, Ram and people from Ayodhya said that she was impure and abandoned her from Ayodhya. When they came back for the second time to where she was staying, she did not go with them because when she was pregnant and she had no place to go, they had abandoned her and not let her come back to Ayodhya. And from one thing we can learn from Sita's life is that we should always, always find the own all solutions to our problems instead of complaining about them because they will get you nowhere. Another thing we can learn is that we should respect ourselves because if we don't respect ourselves, no one else will respect us. The biggest thing we can learn from Sita's life is that we should not we should take responsibility for our actions and their outcomes. Hi Krishna. Jai Shri Ram. Please accept my humble obeisances to all glories to Guru Parampara and founder Acharya Srila Prabhupada. I like Lakshmana, the devoted brother of Rama and Hanumanji from Ramayana. Lakshmana was a person of a good conduct and good thoughts and was always ready to obey Rama's orders. He sacrificed his entire life due to his natural tendency to serve and enjoying bliss of Rama's company from childhood time to vanavasa time. I attracted his submissiveness attitude in serving Lord Rama and Mother Sita. I am sharing memories from Ramananda Sagara Ramayana serial when I was young. I have seen a couple of people who followed his footsteps and felt so much inner satisfaction by serving elders' orders. Another his exemplary character seeing Mother Sita and other women as his own mother. His heroic service in killing like Indraji, which is a very difficult task than killing Ravana also. His temperament in dealing with the Sugriva, when the time of reminding Sugriva's own promise to Lord Rama in finding Mother Sita, it's all due to his love on Lord Rama. I like another character Hanumanji. I like his service to the Lord always with folded hands. To make Lord Rama happy by helping and searching in bringing Mother Sita. Behind Hanumanji's victory in finding Mother Sita, he faced so many hurdles. It is all due to his pure good intention, wanted to see both of them together and love for Lord Rama. After united Lord Rama and Mother Sita, on the request of Vibhishana, Hanumanji tore his chest and showed his beloved Rama and Mother Sita Aram. 
there are many situations in ramayana since the time limitations i shared which i like most thank you for giving this opportunity for jai subhadra mata ji and satyasara dasa prabhu and thank you for this program conducting by shika mata ji and veena mata ji shri ram ram rame de rame rame manorame sahasranam tattulyam ram nam varanane jai shri ram hari krishna everyone uh, today i was asked to talk about my favorite character in ramayana and why that character inspires me uh, as all, always lord hanuman has inspired me in ramayana and uh, and i have two reasons um uh, first reason is kind of small but uh, it's pretty interesting to me is that uh, lord hanuman uh, practiced uh, 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 ch- chanting of holy names uh, uh, for devotional service uh, in in treta yuga um the the chanting of holy names is a yuga dharma for kali yuga but for treta yuga the yuga dharma is is the yagnas right like we talk about ashwamedha yagna and everything in treta yuga so um lord hanuman practicing um the chanting of holy names in that in that period um is is pretty interesting to me um second um lord hanuman um also um through his one of the leelas as ex as told us um how to do a really difficult job any difficult job for that matter um one of the leelas that he did uh, or feats in in english would be the jumping of mountain from um, from uh, india to sri lanka right crossing the ocean through from india to sri lanka from, uh, from by jumping from the mahendragiri mountains um when before he, before that is one of the toughest tasks right very superhuman task that can be compared to more today's difficult task right so in order to accomplish that first hanuman hanuman ji um he first um on the, on the standing on the top of the mountain before he makes jump um he first offered his prayers to his uh, uh, mom dad first and his guru right um and afterwards he offered prayers to the lord lord ram we so with uh, with a high degree of faith uh, in in lord um, he jumped the mountain um, and the, and when he on his flight to lanka he first encountered um a uh, a, 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 a mountain that that kind of like sprung up from the ocean and that mountain is called mainaka mountains um mainaka mountain was considered a demon but uh, but she rose up from the water to to make sure to see to, after seeing hanuman uh, crossing the ocean she rose up from the water to give, to offer a place to rest uh, but uh, lord hanuman you know he so did to mind uh, so he did not take that he just tapped the mountain with his fingers and then moved on um and uh, and secondly uh, lord hanuman encountered uh, another demon um called um, surasa so surasa uh, uh, surasa is particularly important uh, because as surasa can grow in size uh, to eat any uh, anyone flying through this ocean right trying to cross the ocean so as hanuman also puffed up he also grew up in size and surasa also equally grew up in size um, so there's a competition going on between the two but then hanuman realized like hey that's not that's not what i'm here for to show my power here so he realized that my my objective is to deliver the message of lord ram to sita so lord hanuman realized that quickly and then he you know he he shrunk himself to a so dust and he went into the mouth of surasa and came out of the mouth of surasa um and, uh, and 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 basically like you know um getting past her uh, her basically so um that shows that that's an important thing like you know we shouldn't be that shows that the reduction in size of uh, of lord hanuman is 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 compared to the reduction in ego so if you have to do a tough task like this you should have you should not have much ego you should reduce your ego that's what he's trying to explain through the leela and then third uh, he flew as a tourist flight to lanka he also saw a lot of beautiful women um, who were like roughly abducted by lord ravana i mean by ravan um, in uh, in uh, the courtyard in his courtyard right so he did not get distracted as well so he then went past them and then finally uh, saw mother sita in the end so 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 through this leela 
uh, Hanuman tells us a, a secret here to do a very complex task. First thing, you have to be offer prayers to your mom, dad, guru, and then have a deep faith in Lord and avoid uh, taking frequent rest breaks, right? And and because that tends to distract and uh, and don't have an ego like how he did with Surasa and reduce your size, um, and not your physical size, but your size of your ego. And then, um, then you know, and don't get distracted with uh, glamorous items, right? So that's basically what, uh, um, you know, that's the formula that uh, Lord Hanuman gave to us. And uh, f f this is a very important thing. Even today it's applicable to all, any, any, any job that you take, you need to have these attributes to be successful. So, so through one of his uh, leelas, Lord Hanuman ex uh, told us uh, and gave us the secret formula. Um, so that's why I'm more inspired with uh, Lord Hanuman. Uh, he's one of my favorite characters in Ramayana. Uh, thank you so much.